Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA object series. In the previous video of this series, we started working with the shape object. We've seen how to target or reference the shape object or the shapes collection object. We've seen how to select a particular shape or to count the number of shapes in a worksheet. We've also seen how to add an outer shape to the worksheet. Now let's see how to add other types of shapes. And for example, we can add a text box. So that would be again shapes, add text box. And now again, we need to select the type of text box we want to add. And I'm going to choose a normal horizontal text. And again, we need to have the dimensions here. So let's say, so let's have it a bit to the right and let's say it's going to have 100 times 50. And again, we rather put that into, into a variable. I'm going to call it text txb for text box. And then, of course, we need to put that in parentheses. And we haven't declared, but let's declare that's actually a shape as well. And now let's run the macro. So, so as you see, it has added the text box somewhere here, but the text box is empty. So now we can also add text to the text box and, and format the text. So let's see how to do that. So we're going to add another text box, let's say, a bit farther to the right so that we can see it. And now with this other text box, again, we may want to give a name to our shapes. And that's very important because then if we want to delete or we want to change that shape, we will have to refer to the shape by the name. So Excel is going to give the, the name text box and the number. Now, in this case, it was four because it added three other shapes before. But we may want to call it, I don't know, um, user info. To add text to the text box or also to a shape, we need to target the text frame property and then the characters method to add text. So that's a bit long and complicated, but yeah, this is my text box. And then, um, and then you can format the text. Uh, so usually what I do is I put this in another width and then you put this here and we can change, for example, the font, uh, the, the, the type of font with font name or, or the size. We could say, hey, I want my text a bit bigger here, 24. And you could also change the font again uh, using the font property, which works in the same way that we've seen for the range object. So here we could, we could say, I want the font red. And then we could end this with statement here. And we may want to align the text inside of the box. And for that, and that, that may look a bit more complicated, but for that, I would use another width here. So that would be only for the text. And then with the text frame is where we're going to have the horizontal alignment to the center. And we may want to align that also vertically. So this is a good example of how to work with the width statement. So now if we play the macro and we come back to our worksheet, here we have the, the new text box with the text in, inside. The text, the text box is not big enough for all this text. But yeah, we have the text aligned in the box and in red. Now, of course, we need to make this box um, bigger, which we gave the name of user info, so we could actually go in other macro, format text box, sheet two, shapes, and here we target our user info text box. And if again we use the width statement, we could, for example, change now the height and make it 
bigger so that everything fits and we could change any any other properties right so if i run this now we will see the same box but now it's, it's bigger yeah it's much bigger so yeah 150 would probably be enough um there we go now we have already a lot of shapes in this sheet we can delete the shape also targeting that shape so for example if we want to delete this other text box the name is text box 4 let me put that in another module then we would do sheet 2 shapes and with the name of that text box delete if we run this macro now we see we don't have that text box anymore. Now, if we want to delete all the shapes, and now we can, of course, comment or delete this word because if we run the macro, now it would prompt an error because we don't have a text box anymore. Right? Now, if we want to delete all the shapes, we will have to loop through all the shapes in a particular worksheet. We do that with a for loop. So for each and we would come up with a variable here. And again, usually I use SHP in sheet two, because remember, we also have shapes in sheet one, dot shapes. So for each shape, we could say SHP delete and next SHP. SHP is declared as a shape. And if I run this macro, it's going to delete all of them. But there is also something interesting. Let's say, hey, I want to keep my text box here, but I want to delete all the other shapes. So in this case, we would say if shp.name is different than user info, because that's our text box, then delete the shape. This would delete all the other shapes except our text box. There's another way we could do this. We could use type. If SHP type is one, so these rectangles are an auto shape, which is the type one, we could delete. Or if auto shape is different than a text box, we would delete any other auto shape except the text boxes. So that's how you can use the type property. So so with either one or the other, we would delete all the shapes except our text box. Now we can also add form controls. And again, that's the same using shapes add. And here we have the form control. And we have different types of form control. Let's add a button. And again, it can be somewhere there, and it's going to have those dimensions. If I click, if I run the macro, we have our button here. Now, we can actually also add buttons simply with sheet to buttons add. And having here, of course, the dimensions of the button. So if I run this one, you see it works in the same way. So we have another button here. And we've used only buttons. And this works with several other shapes, um, with pictures and with several others. So you can either use one or the other. But important here is, again, that we add this. So let's say BTN. We add this to a variable. And then with this variable, again, we can, for example, we can change, in the case of the button, we can change the caption. So it says, click me, for example. We can, don't confuse this with the name. The name, which is always important to, to have, let's say this is my BTM1. The name is, um, so, so let's add it a bit lower and as you see 
Now, this other button that we added, the name here, the name is here, is BTM1. Instead of button one, button two, and so on, we change it to BTN. And the caption is what is written here. Now, we can change several other properties. One of the interesting and important properties when working with buttons is on action. So on action, we can add a macro that will run when we click the button. So let's call it action macro. And we will have the action macro here or in some other. And for example, when we click the button, this, this macro is going to run, it's going to do something, and it's going to display uh, a message. Right? So if we add now a new button and we need to change the name because we already have a button called BTN1, or actually, you know, if we go back to the previous module and then we say here, let's delete all the buttons. We have buttons and text boxes. So now we want to delete all the buttons that we've added. So the if the type is, let's come here and say, if the type is a button, if the type is a form control, and this would actually delete all the form controls, so buttons, checkboxes, combo boxes, and, and so on. If you only want to delete buttons, you could also do sheet you buttons delete, actually. So you don't need this one. This would delete only the buttons. As you see, we have deleted all the buttons. Now let's go back to module four and add a new button, which is going to have an action to run another macro. And here's our button. It's is the name is btn2 and it says click me and when we click it's going to run another macro so these are some of the things we can do with shapes in excel vba i hope this was useful and thanks for watching